on women who had accused Bill Clinton of sexual misconduct. Paula Jones received an $850,000 settlement from Clinton after alleging he harassed her and exposed himself to her while governor of Arkansas. Kathleen Willey has alleged she was groped and assaulted by Clinton during his presidency. And Juanita Broderick alleges that Bill Clinton raped her in 1978 while serving as Arkansas Attorney General. Bill Clinton has denied all these claims, I sat down with all three women and asked about their allegations and the aftermath. I want to thank you all for being on Justice. Your stories have been told, but I want to talk about some of the story that maybe wasn't told accurately. And I, and I want to start with you, Juanita. You, you claim that, that Bill Clinton raped you. Yes. Uh, it's been said by the media that, you know, there really isn't any proof, there really, you know, isn't anything to support what Juanita said. But there was someone who found you immediately after the rape. Is oh, that yes, correct? Oh, probably within 30 minutes, because I didn't show up for the meeting that I was supposed to go to. And she came back to the room looking for me. And what condition were you in when she oh, found you? Oh, the same as when he walked out the door. You know, my clothes torn, my lip was swollen, four times the size that it should be, and bleeding. Uh, I was I was in a state of shock. I was panicking. So your friend comes in. Did, did you think about reporting this to the police? Oh, no. I did not know what to do. We both knew that this was the, the man that could close my doors the next day if he wanted to, to my nursing, nursing home. nursing home that you were. Right, right. He was the main uh, person in charge of all nursing homes. How many state. people, though, did did you tell in addition to your friend who found you uh, four others four others contemporaneous at the time this right. is called a recent outcry right. uh, which is legally very significant I right. mean, in proving a, a case of rape right but at some point you did admit that this happened to you when was that uh, when Ken Starr's people came out okay. and deposed me all right. All right. Now, Paula, I'm going to go to you. You were a clerk in Arkansas, the state mm -hmm. clerk, and you met Bill Clinton as a result of a trooper coming to you. He apparently did something to you. Did you tell anyone about this, Paula? Immediately. Who? Um, well, first of all, my coworker, um, she could tell that I was upset and that something had happened, and um, all I was able to say to her was that, and it was time for us to leave. It was time for the conference. It was over with at that time, and everybody was going home. And um, I said that, well, he made a pass at me, and that's all I said, and I left. I went straight over to a friend of mine's who worked not far from the state capitol or, or the Excelsior Hotel, and I went straight over to her, and she, they could tell that I was upset when I come in and asked for my friend. And they, she come down and, and got me, and she took me to a back room, and I, I told her what had happened, and I, I told her the story. And so she knew immediately within 30 minutes of what happened. Did you ever think to report this? No, I was terrified. Why? We're talking about the governor of the state of Arkansas. The state police took me up there. Who did I have to, I could tell. I mean, I was terrified. I didn't think, nobody would believe me. I didn't but think. But years later, you made the decision to sue. Where did you, why did you do that? Well, um, th it was three years later, actually, and the state police, actually, that took me up there. Him and another state police um, did a book, and my name came out in the book. And that's how people started, I guess, investigating, and, and, and I came up. And, you know, what had happened was it said that I had a consensual sexual relationship with him, and I did not have any kind of a sexual relationship with him. I'm going to go to Kathleen Willie. All right, Kathleen, your story also well known. Did you tell anyone contemporaneous or at the same time that it happened? I did. But um, yes, I did. I told four friends. So, with all three of you, you made immediate reports to friends or coworkers, and you know, so it's not as though you just came up with this years later. But you ended up suing Paula. You ended up with an eight hundred fifty thousand dollars settlement. Um, you, however, didn't sue Kathleen, nor did you, Juanita. But all of you made the decision initially to stay quiet 
and you all say the same thing. I mean, the guy was the attorney general who could shut down your nursing home. He was the governor. He was the president. He was someone who could significantly impact your lives. Now, given the reluctance uh, to do that then, Given the possibility of Bill Clinton being back in the White House and Hillary Clinton being the president, how do you see a Clinton presidency playing out again in the White House? I'll start with you, Kathleen. Years of, re of revenge, getting even with people who crossed their path, who, you know, who tried to get in their way. That's what I see. Years of that. I think that she'll spend most of her time doing that, trying to ruin people who tried to stop her from being president, us included. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and how did she try to ruin you, Paula? Well, they, the smear campaign and James Carville saying that, you know, drag a $100 bill through a trailer park and you never know what you're going to come up with. And just the different ways the media made fun of me and my looks and stuff like that that made me feel like, um, how did, why would he even take a look at you, you know? As though it was, you know, I didn't look good enough for, you know what I'm saying? That's the way they made it feel, made me feel, you know, they tried to trash my name and say I lived in a trailer park. I've never lived in a trailer in my life, but those are the kind of people that voted for Bill Clinton. But Juanita and you, how do you yeah, see the same, the uh, Pretty much the very same thing. Whenever it did come out about 20 years after the fact, uh, people were referring to us as bimbos and uh, referring to this as infidelities. There was no infidelity.